closing day. Oh, yeah. We got the check in our hand. Woo! Let's open the sucker up. Zach, why did you go pick up a check? You just wasted so much time going to that closing and getting the check. All right, guys, closing day. Just got my wire. Zach, why did you get a wire? You just wasted $15 you could have spent on your marketing. You could have saved it. You don't have that much money in wholesaling. What should I do? Guys, in today's video, I'm going to break down with you on closing day, what should you do? Should you go pick up a physical wholesaling check at the title company or should you save your time and just get a wire? There's a lot of there's a lot of conflicting information and there's so many people out there saying you need to go get a check, you don't need to go get a check, wire, don't wire. It's all a little confusing. So in this video, I'm really going to break it down because there is huge benefits for both of them depending on your experience, your mindset, and ultimately what your goal is for wholesaling real estate. So before I get into it, before we break this down, this is actually going to be some pretty interesting information. I don't hear a lot of people talking about this. If you can, please smash the like button and subscribe. So here's the age old question to pick up the check or to wire. So I wish there was an easy one. Does this even matter? Yes, it actually does matter. It, it, it's a huge mind shift of if you get the wire or you do the check. So let me list the pros and the cons because it, it's easy for me to tell you one answer and just say, Hey, do the wire. Hey, do the check. It's really dependent. So, so here's the first pro of a check. If this is your first wholesaling real estate deal, you need, you have an obligation to go pick up that check. I'm telling you right now, my first real estate wholesaling check, I got it and I put it in the bank and I never got it. If I, I, I really wish I could have scanned it or used like a smart app or something uh, to really collect that check. I wish I had that check. It would, it would be framed behind me and uh, it would have been really cool. But if this is your first wholesaling real estate deal, one of the most important parts of getting your first wholesaling real estate deal is the actual proof of concept that this wholesaling stuff isn't fake. Zach's not this fake internet hype guy that you know, does fake stuff. This wholesaling stuff is absolutely for real. And I can actually make money and change my life with the power of wholesaling real estate. So getting that first check will be a huge proof of concept. You physically, you can touch the check. You know, it's real, you know, a wire is just a digital number in a bank account, but that physical check in your hand is absolutely amazing. Touch it, feel it, show your spouse like a proof that, Hey, this stuff's actually working. I uh, don't use the check to go on social media and say, I'm making all this money, but be, think I'm cool. Think I'm cool. No, you, you use it, use it as motivation to keep going and keep pushing forward. Show you that proof of concept to keep going. That is the absolute one of the best parts about having your first wholesaling real estate deals, that physical check in hand. You, you visualize this moment of having that, that $10,000 check in your hand and you actually did it. One of the fulfilling moments I ever had when I was 17 years old was holding my first wholesaling real estate check. Absolutely get the check. Now I say you should always get the check, especially when you're starting out. Like if before you made your first hundred thousand, always physically go get the check. And the number one reason I say, first of all, it's motivation. It gets you in the groove. It gets you excited uh, to keep going with the wholesaling. It kind of closes everything out, but that's pretty cool. But that's not what it's about. What it's about is when you're going on the physical closings, with the seller, you get one of the most important things, especially when you're starting out. When, when I was 17, I absolutely needed this so bad was testimonials. So going and picking up the actual check, you actually be there at the title company, you'll get the check in your hand and you'll be there with your seller when they're signing it. And then you'll ask them, Hey, is it okay if we do a testimonial video one really quickly? And most of the time they say, yes, have the lady at the title company record the video just basically on your smartphone. And then you just do a testimonial. And then you can send that testimonial, especially when I was 17 other people to show that I was legitimate in this transaction. I actually helped them sell the property all for cash. And the process of wholesaling is real for you. We gain that check, but it's also real for other people say, Hey, you know what? This 17 year old kid is actually helping me sell my property for cash. He's legit. Getting those testimonials are key when you're having an online presence. People will look you up online, post those testimonials. It will be amazing. And that's the reason why I've gotten some deals when I was 18, 19 years old, because they had those testimonials and sellers actually told me that. Also getting those checks, it, I think it really helps with your confidence a lot, especially when you're starting out. So absolutely, I, I still love them. One of the last couple pros here of getting the check is there's a lot of pros, but there are some cons. So a really cool, quick pro about it is because of wires, Sometimes there can be an issue with the wires. <laughs> Again, 
but we've had so many crazy wire stories for the past 18 years Rick has had in real estate wholesaling. So you don't want any discrepancies or issues with it. And sometimes the check can just be easier. There's going to be no wire issue. It didn't go in the wrong account. There's no crazy mess. Or maybe I have two LLCs I have, and maybe I was partnering up with my other partner here. So we got to put this check in this account or put this check in that other account. The wire is pretty much black and white. You have to make that decision on the spot when they ask for your wiring information. And Sometimes your title company will charge you like a $35 wiring fee to yourself, which you could have spent for your wholesaling operation. Also, sometimes most likely it'll charge you around $15 to actually have an incoming wire fee, which is a complete mess in my opinion. Don't even get started on the, the waste of a wire fee because they're saving money, to it, but whatever the waste of a wire fee. And you just don't want any of those issues and you don't want to pay the fees. Cause think about this. If you're getting like five wholesaling checks per month, you could be wasting Potentially, if they charge you 30 bucks wire fee, 150 bucks a month that you could be spending on RVMs, cold calling, skip trace lists. That's almost 1,500 skip traced phone numbers you could have gotten while just picking up those checks. And that's another big reason why you should get checks, especially starting out and you don't want to pay those wire fees. And the last big benefit of checks is something not a lot of people talk about is a lot of people wholesaling, they're doing it at 16, 17 years old. Let's say for example, it is October and you turn 18 on December and you got the check and you can actually hold on to that check for a couple months and then cash it. Now I recommend it within a couple of weeks, you have to, you should cash the check to make sure it's all good, but you can wait maybe a month cash it when you turn 18 years old and then you got money in that bank account. You're 18. You don't have to deal with the parents or anything like that. You actually get the check in your name. Uh, so that's the cool part about a check wires instant. Uh, that's another thing I did figure out. Not a lot of people talk about it because not a lot of people wholesale at 17 like I did. And you can also endorse checks, which is a pretty good plus. Now the big con of checks is you're wasting time driving to the title company. Now you could be wasting 30 minutes back and forth, just going to the title company. You're wasting an hour. You're potentially wasting five hours a month, just going to the title company here and there, and you're wasting time. And, and you could spend that time following up with sellers and going on appointments in five hours, you potentially could get some deals. And honestly, sometimes you're going to lose out on a deal. If you do five hours a month times 12, that's 60 hours that you've wasted picking up checks that you could have probably spent getting a deal, which will pay for the wiring fees hands down by far. So you just got to make that decision for yourself if you want to pick up the check or not. Now the pros of a wire, again, pretty easy. It's pretty black and white, especially when I was 17. When I put it in a new bank account on a $20,000 check, that thing had a huge holding period. And I couldn't spend that on getting new bandit signs and new marketing tactics. I had to wait for the holding period for that big fat check. And they wanted to see like, how is a 17, 18 year old kid getting $20,000? We've got to uh, investigate this. Uh, so you got to be very careful. That happened to me when I was starting out. So with the wire, it's a lot easier. And the big plus is one of the minuses for the check I gave for wires is there's about a $35 wire fee. Sometimes the title company will do it. Sometimes they won't, but there's a $15 incoming wire fee also. But sometimes if you just like Chase Bank, we can get our wire fee actually waived because we do so much business there is it's a huge plus and that's why we get all of our wires. It's the best case scenario and we have so many testimonials, we don't really need it. So at our level at a seven figure wholesaling operation, we actually get the wholesale assignment fees wired to us. Wires do make very clean accounting and when you're just doing really high volume, wires are probably the only way you should go. But again, the cons of a wire is there could be issues with the wire. You have to pay the fees sometimes and it's ultimately really up to you if you should go pick up the check or do the wire. I recommend if you're starting out, maybe your first, first hundred thousand dollars, go pick up those checks. Once you start doing a very high volume, you're scaling up, you're trying to hit a million dollars per year in real estate wholesaling profit, not revenue profit, probably start getting into the wires, build up those testimonials for yourself in your real estate wholesaling business. And honestly, you can get to the point where it doesn't really even matter. And also with the checks, it's pretty good social proof that you're actually pretty good. So if you have a YouTube channel, you want to show people you're legitimate in this business and you were 18, 19 years old when I started this YouTube channel, it's good to show proof because a lot of people just write you off and it'll give you, give you some legitimacy. Uh, but overall, that's it. That's really the age old question. Should you get a check or a wire? Ultimately, it's not the biggest deal in the world. If you're starting out, get the check, if a little more experience, do the wire. That's really my conclusion for it. Let me know what you do. Do you always get the check? I know seven figure wholesalers that absolutely without a doubt will always go on the 
to always pick up their check no matter what. It's just a mindset thing for them. And I know people that literally the first deal they got wired, they don't want to go to the title company. So let me know what you do in your real estate wholesaling business and show me some of the pros or cons I didn't list. Thank you guys so much. If you've got any value out of this video, please smash that like button and subscribe. Thank you guys so much and God bless.